our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, gave his sheep a warning. Beware of false prophets, for they come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are devouring wolves. This is the message of the Good Shepherd that he gave to his prophets throughout the Old Covenant and to his apostles in the New Covenant. Beware of these false prophets. They come into your midst looking like sheep. They use the words of the kingdom. They use the words of the flock. Grace, mercy, love, compassion. These are substantive words. These words have meaning and they are wonderful. They are glorious. They are heavenly. But the false prophets, the wolves, twist these words for our destruction and their own destruction by redefining them. So we can see these wolves, we can discern these wolves simply by looking at how they are using these words and the fruits thereof. If they are changing the definition of these words to look more like the world, to look like the spirit of the age, rather than to look like heaven and the eternal spirit, then we know we have a wolf in our midst. If they are defining love, mercy, grace, compassion, as the world does, according to the flesh rather than the spirit, then we know wolf, <laughs> false prophet. And that person needs to repent, be converted, no longer be a wolf. <laughs> Whether that person be an evangelist, a prophet, a teacher, a YouTuber, a bishop, or even a pope. That person needs to repent and to be confronted. If we continue to associate with such people, then we are also guilty of harboring a wolf and helping the wolf's cause amongst the flock. So if a person comes about telling Love is love and defining love according to the world's definition because we have to be more compassionate. We have to be more graceful. We have to be more merciful. This is how Jesus was. Well, look at how Jesus was. Yes, in fact, he was graceful, merciful, and compassionate. He loved people in their circumstances, but he never left them in their circumstances. He raised them up, transformed them, asked them to join him, to look like him in holiness, righteousness, and true agape. In Acts chapter 20, Paul said to the leaders of the church at Ephesus that he did not shrink from declaring the whole counsel of God to them. And he prayed for them, crying with tears night and day. He knew something was happening. After he left, that fierce wolves would come into their midst. They would devour the flock. They would be teaching divisive things, twisted things, and leading people astray, leading people to follow them, to be their disciples. It was about these type of people that Jesus said, woe to you who cause the little ones to stumble. It would be better that a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to cause one of these little ones to stumble. As the good shepherd said, Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Therefore we are to remain pure, innocent, and holy lambs like the Lamb of God. So brothers and sisters, if you find a wolf in your midst, cry wolf! <laughs> False prophet! And help that one change and help others not follow those same lies of the world, of the age, of the den of wolves. Follow the good shepherd. Let him lead you into life and more abundant life.